Hey guys, I wanted to do a hopefully short video. Um, I'll try to make it super short and sweet, but I wanted to share a couple of things, a um, couple of stories, um, things from the Punta Cana trip. So first I wanna just dive right in and share that I almost did not go on this trip. I wanna tell you the story and um, it really is crazy. I actually shared the story with somebody at um, on the trip and they were like, that is just crazy, like how that totally unfolded. So I just wanna share that with you guys. So I kept going back and forth. Obviously, I the day that the trip came out, I said, I'm going on that trip. I am earning that trip. Like I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm going to go on that trip. So I was very determined and had my mindset and I earned it. And I even earned the extra like travel cash um, on top of it. So my, my flight would be paid for and I was just so excited. So um, I got added into the Punta Cana trip chat and blah, blah, blah. And then people were talking about how expensive the flights were. And I was like, oh, gosh, like, all right, let's see. So I started looking into flights and it was like from my town, $4,000. Okay, awesome. So if my little like hopper like plane okay let's see where other airports around me so i looked at the one we typically fly out of um bigger airport and it was like 1200 or 1300 round trip and i was like that is still expensive i don't have like a ton of money that i'm just like throwing around here so i don't know if i can make that work i looked at other places it was like i think the cheapest that i really could find was like 900 and that was me driving like five hours so I was like, I don't think that I can make this work. Like, I don't think that I can go on this trip. And literally as it's all unfolding, I get an email. You can take cash instead. And it was like $500 or $600 cash. And I was like, well, like, okay. Like I might as well, like, I'm not gonna like fork out all this money. And I didn't really know how much I had earned in the travel cash and if I could apply it. Obviously like they were gonna give it to us in like our paycheck. So obviously I'd be able to apply it, but. Um, I didn't know exactly how much. So I find out, um, how did it all unfold? So I was just like, I just don't think I can go. Like, I don't know. And I didn't really want to tell Tyler, like I was contemplating not going cause he would have easily talked to me out of not going. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. You should just take the cash and you should stay here and help me with the kids. <laughs> so I just kind of like kept it to myself. Didn't really tell too many people. Um, and Tyler's our one of our neighbors came over that night he like just stopped by and he was like oh hey blah 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 oh my god I saw that you earned that trip how exciting like that's so awesome and I was like I like don't know like the flights are just so expensive right now so I really am not sure I'm, I'm gonna be, be able to swing it um and I told him like some of the prices and he's he literally was walking out the door and I was like yeah whatever you know, I'll keep you posted and he goes check Montreal check Canada and I didn't really think twice of it because I'm like, I'm not going into another country to fly out of another country to fly into another country. Like I'm going by myself. Like this is, this is not, does not excite me. Right. So I was like, whatever. So he left. Um, I looked up the flights in Montreal and it was $400. And I was like, okay, like how far away is this place? <laughs> I know it's in another country. I know that I'm going to have to like go through like customs and stuff, but like, Maybe I'll make it work. We'll see. So I, it was an hour and 15 minutes. And then I got an email that said like, you earned the travel cash. It's $400 cash. You'll get it in your next commission check. You can put it towards your flight. I was like, how is everything like matching up right now? So I was like, okay, Danielle, like flights are not cheap. And everyone else in the chat was like, the cheapest I can get it is 800 or 900. Like that was like, and people were paying and people were ringing spouses and like, it was like adding up very quickly. So I was like, if I don't book this flight right now, like without overcomplicating it, without thinking about how I'm going to get into Canada, without thinking about my phone probably won't even work in Canada. How am I going to find the airport? I tried not to think about all those things. I booked the ticket. I booked the flight and I said, I'll figure out the stuff later. And in that moment, I was like, oh my God, isn't that so funny? That's what I tell people. Sign up, get started. You'll figure it out as you go. Like, don't stress about it now. Get it done. Do what you need to do, right? So you guys, I booked the ticket and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. I figured it out, you guys. It was okay. Okay. I said, Tyler, I am so terrified that my phone will stop working the second I enter into Canada. What do I need to do? You guys, he helped me download the map on my phone. It took two seconds. 
And now the map is there and I didn't need my phone to even work because the map was already downloaded on my phone. It was so easy, such an easy fix. Now granted, when I got into Canada, everybody spoke French. When I got on the plane, everyone spoke French. It was okay. I knew I was on the right plane and I put my headphones in and I listened to music and I read a book and I was fine, okay? So, yada, yada, yada. I didn't know anybody going. Like, I knew of people, but I, like, Amanda Busher was probably the closest one, but she had, like, 12 people, which meant with spouses, that was close to 25 people probably that she had on her team. So, she was also going to be entertaining people and doing trips with her team and stuff. So, I didn't want to, like, bombard her. And I knew Caitlin was going, who I had not had met on. You know, like, we became friends, but I've never met her in person. Sam Bowers kind of took me under her wing a little bit. But I didn't, like, I've never met these people in person. So I was like, I, this is going to be very interesting. So, really long story short, it was by far the best trip that I've ever been on in my entire life. And I want to tell you a couple of things that, like, that I really got from it. Obviously, I connected with Sam and Caitlin, spent a ton of time with them, and it was amazing. They were great. I got a bunch of tips from them. Um, somebody ended up sharing like, oh yeah, Heather does. Oh, in the middle of the training, um, they shouted out this Heather Juno girl. Well, I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I don't know anything about her, but apparently she does Monday through Friday power hours. Well, honestly, I took the summer off. So like I haven't been on any power hours, nor did I want to be on any power hours. And I was okay with that. Well, they shouted out and I was like, all right, well, like you just got a shout out. Like, what are you doing? And she said like, I, this is what she said. This is what connected me to her. I felt like I was working a lot, but I wasn't producing. I wasn't bringing in the customers and distributors like I knew I should have with the amount of work I was doing. So I was like, you're speaking to me. She said she started doing something different and her entire business changed. And I was like, hi, my name's Danielle Janiszewski. I think we need to meet. <laughs> And the guys, like in this business, like I've been in nine years, like there's so many times that you have to pivot. You have to try something different. Like, oh my God, I feel like I'm like, what? What is happening? Well, I just took the summer off. So I knew like I needed to re relaunch, right? Um, but I had to figure out how and, and all the things. Well, I'm doing this six week slay thing, which I'm loving, but I also need like, I need to bring in team members and I need to bring in more customers. And um, you know what I mean? Those kinds of things. So I, I she said, I'm going to do a power hour while, um, for those who are willing to forgo the beach for one hour. And I was like, I can forgo the beach for one hour. Like I will go, like, I will see what's going on. You guys out of like 300 distributors that were there, like six people, maybe seven people came and Sam went and Caitlin went and Carly went and Hannah went. So the people that I was surrounding myself with, we made it a priority. Okay. And there was only like three or four other people other than us. So I was there and I was like, okay, I don't, Heather, like I've never been on any of your power hours. Please don't take offense to that. But like, I don't know what you're like, what are the, why are the six lists so special? Why is it so important? So, um, I just want to touch on it really quick, but I made this happy to share with anybody that wants it. Um, these were her things personal development and birthday messages. She said, people typically do those before they hop on my power hours. Speaking of what time is it? <clears throat> then during the power hour, they kick off with 30 messages. And I'm like, why are these 30 messages so great? Like, and I was vocal during this power hour. And I said to her, why are the 30 messages so great? What do you say in these 30 messages? And she sent me the script and I was like, okay, but like, Honestly, like I don't push trial packs. Like, why is that such a, why is that such a game changer? And she was like, it's not about the trial packs. It's about presenting it to them, giving them options. And then most likely it turns them into a customer instead of even getting the trial packs. So I was like, okay, I'm okay with that. I could try that. But I also want to throw in like the business opportunity if I can. So I drafted a message that kind of, it looked like hers obviously, but it changed it up a little bit. So that was the 30 messages, but how she sent the birthday or how she sent those 30 messages was like game changer. You go to messenger. This is what she does during your power hour. She explains it. So this is why it's a big deal. You go into messenger and at the bottom, it says people click on that like third one over. And then in the very top right corner, you see like a little book. Click on that. It has all of your friends that you have ever messaged in Facebook ever in alphabetical order. 
it was really cool. So you can start at A and you do three pages. So it's 10 people a page. So it's like three, one full page. You message all them and it's through board. So you just send, 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 send. And she goes like this. You may not deter. You may not deter when you are doing these 30 messages. You are committed to doing 30 messages. You may not respond to anybody if they send you a message. If, and for me, I go, oh my God, like how many times do I joke about it in my head? Like if my mom calls me, I can't, I can't deny answering her phone call, right? Like if you're focused on what you're doing, stay focused on what you're doing. Stop answering a message because it comes in. Oh, so-and-so commented on my post. Ooh, let me go click on that. Oh, Emma's teacher or Izzy's teacher just uploaded a picture. Ooh, let me go click on that. I'm a squirrel. Like I am all over the place. Anyone else? Okay. So that's kind of where I'm at. So I was like, I need to hear that. I need to hear stuff like this. So I was like, okay, 30 messages, people send it, go very organized. Awesome. Love organized, love a system. And then for me, I was, I did write it down. Here's the thing. There it is. Where's my calendar? So I wrote who I left off on. So the 30 people wrote their name down. Okay, so today I know exactly who I'm who I'm starting with again. Inbox cleanup. Okay, like what does inbox cleanup mean? Okay, inbox cleanup. This is exactly what it means. Let me tell you, right? Like she was very specific. Like this is what it means. So you're gonna go back to the 30 people that you messaged yesterday and the day before and anybody else that you really need to message, right? And you're gonna send them a, hey girl, did you get my message? Hey, did my message go through, right? Whatever you wanna say. She said most people will not respond to that first message because they're busy when they check it. They read it maybe quick and then they're just like busy, right? Which is most often. So it's that follow-up message that gets them. Oh, so sorry, girl, I was busy. Yeah, I did read it. I'm interested in the trial packs. Okay, super cool. So good to know that because then I'm like, okay, so when people don't respond to me the first time, don't get frustrated, they will respond the second time. And she even said, and I go, well, what do you do if they don't respond? She goes, then I archive them. Okay, good to know. So she has a system in place. She has a system that's working and she's sharing that, right? So all these things. Then, oh, I was gonna say, hang on, there was one more. So then she does host to post follow-up. I have not been pushing host to post a ton, but in this message that we send out, the 30 messages, it basically offers them um, throw up a post to enter the drawing, um, trial packs, or business opportunities. So the people that did do the host to post, I'm going to go follow up with them. And I'm going to save them into the folder, right? Um, so if they host a post, I'm going to click on the three dots in the top, click on that, save it, and then I can easily find it after. If you don't know all the things I'm talking about, just ask me and I can fill you in. And then her last task is calendar follow-ups. And this one blew my mind, okay? So what I did is as you're doing the 30 messages and as you're doing the inbox cleanup, as people message you back and say a trial pack or this or that, as they message you back, they're interested in something, you write their name down, okay? So you write their name down in the calendar spot. I actually, if I'm being totally honest, as I'm getting into this routine, I went to sleep with Izzy last night, seven o'clock, because I was exhausted and everything with the trip was kind of catching up with me. I have people to write down. I screenshot their names last night because I was like, oh my God, I can't write them down in my notebook. So I have to go today as I'm doing the cleanup and stuff, I have to write their names yesterday and then I will have more to write for today. Okay, so you're writing people's names down. And then this was what she said. Today is what, Thursday? What's today? Thursday. So I'm going to go like this. And she had a page like this. It was week by week. Well, of course, mine's month by month. So every Thursday, you're going to go to the last Thursday and you're going to follow up with those people written on Thursday. You're going to go to the week before, follow up with all those people on Thursday. The week before, all of those people that you wrote down from Thursday, you're going to follow up with all the Thursday people, just the Thursday people. But you know what? It also keeps you going consistently because you're like, oh my God, I have to follow up with the Mondays. I have to work on the Monday. So for me, I'm like, all right, I'm going to be really good and like weekends, like not be as crazy busy because we're in like full swing of like family, hockey, soccer, like all the things. Um, weekends are very important to me, but Sundays I'm, Saturday I'm going to fit in my power hour, but Sundays are where I'm really going to take off. My one day a week, I'm going to take off. Whether it be Saturday or Sunday, I am taking one day off a week. So with that, then, okay, so that's all her stuff that she shared. 
And then I added, because I know I need to be doing TikToks and Reels. I know I need to be showing my faces and stories. That's kind of part of me and like who I am. Or even do a live video. Um, but I'm typically always in my stories. Um, and then make sure you post on Facebook, Instagram. So those are like my things. So I can send this to anybody that wants to see it. Message me and I'll share it with you. Okay, that was the Heather Juno stuff. The other thing, how long is this video? 15 minutes. All right, I'll try to wrap it up in, with 20. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to share, and this is me really sharing my heart, really being vulnerable here. So please hear me when I say the things that I have to say. I've never questioned this business. I have never questioned leaving this business. I am so feet planted in this business. It is not funny. Times have been hard sometimes. Um, times have been... Um, you know, my paycheck's not where I want it to be. Well, I need to do what I need to do to get it back there. And that's fine. I've, you know, nine years, it's been up and down, but honestly, it's my own fault. It's because I either took the summer off or, you know, I moved in with my dad to help him with his cancer treatments. And I knew I wasn't working my business, but you know what, while I was doing those things, I still was able to pick up residual income and pick up, you know, money and stuff like that. So months after is where I probably paid for it. You know what I mean? So stuff like that. Um, I just want to make it clear. I've never questioned this business, these products, this, the company, I've never questioned the Pentecost ever. With that being said, with all the changes that have been going on, it's been very hard for me because I don't like change. I like consistency. I like routine. And with Mark kind of like handing over the CEO position, <coughs> that was really hard for me. My uplines leaving was really hard for me. The changes in like getting rid of products and upping prices and all the things, that was kind of hard for me. Obviously everything's changing with prices and stuff like that, so I get it. But you know what? I always trusted. I always trusted and I always will trust. So what I got from Punta Cana was like so good for my heart because I heard Mark speak and I heard Mark speak so passionately about how he's planted and how just because I had somebody hired to kind of take over a little bit doesn't mean I'm stepping down. It doesn't mean I'm gone. It doesn't mean I don't get to make any choices and make decisions. I'm still making choices and decisions that are best for this company and best for all of you. I brought them in and these new people and these new people and these new people. I brought all these new people in because we are going like this. We are not going down. I wouldn't be bringing all these people in if we were going down. I'm bringing these people in to help make this company even better. And you guys, I'm telling you, I am I feel like I recorded his speech. I'm not sure. Um, it was good for my heart. It was good for my soul. It really was. Hearing him speak like that, like we gave him a standing ovation, like the things he said. And he's like, people are leaving for other companies. Let them. Like, And I always hear Cindy Pentecost in the background say, um, pray him out, pray him in and pray him out. Pray people in that need this, pray people out that maybe whatever they don't need, or maybe they're shady or whatever it may be, you know, however, um, that's okay. And you know what? Some of those companies that they're going to are going bankruptcy. And he said that he even said that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's, you know, I don't care about stuff like that because like it is what it is. And I don't have a ton of people that like, I'm, it's not like I'm an ambassador and this one company stole my entire team or something like that. So I'm not like fully like invested in stuff like that. Um, and I turn my head. I know my upline left for another company. And honestly, I just wish people well. Um, I know that people make decisions based on their needs at the time. And for me, um, I know that I have to go through some really hard times um, to make things better and to grow from them. And I'm always invested, always, always invested, but things may affect my busyness. Things may affect my life. Three kids is a lot. Um, you know, with my dad sick, miscarriages, you know, all these things have happened with me in this business. And I'm just so thankful for all the things that this business has, has given to me. Um, and even through those hard times when I haven't been able to be as invested in my business and invested in my team as much as I would like to be, um, my heart has always been in the right place and it always will be. Um, so I just need you guys to know that like, I heard things like on that trip that I just was like, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And like the things that are coming, <coughs> hold. The things that are coming are going to be incredible. And the, how do I say this? They're making all these changes 
so that we can do better and make more and be better and make more money. And not only for us, but for our teams, they're making these changes. And I don't want to say that I doubted them before. And I don't want to say that I didn't believe them before, but I truly, truly felt like I heard things that I needed to hear. So I, for anybody that is listening to this, if you've had any doubt, I get it. I, I was there. Like, I fully get it. So please know the things that I heard and the things that um, were said in Punta Cana, like, it made my heart feel so much better. And it made my heart be where, like, I know it should be and needs to be um, with all the little, like, things that were I was struggling with in my head. So, so I just wanted to kind of put that out there with that. So, you guys, Punta Cana was full circle, a complete dream. And they're doing it again. And I am telling you, I don't know what we have to do to get a free trip again to Punta Cana. But if you take one thing, thing from this video, one thing from this video, do whatever you have to do to earn that trip. You guys, I earned so much money in bonuses along the way and then also got the free trip. Okay. It's a full circle kind of thing. They're doing it to grow your business and then you're getting these bonuses along the way and then you just earn the free trip. So we had to do seven cycles. Um, I don't know what they're going to come out with or what you have to do or your timeline or anything. I don't know anything about it, but I am telling you right now, you have got to be on that next trip. You have got to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I will do whatever it takes to get there. And I'm telling you right now, if you're someone that you haven't been working, it is okay. I took the summer off, you guys. So I am just now like kickstarting things again and I'm getting things going. Copy me, duplicate me, do whatever you have to do. Use my six week sleigh if you want to, to get people interested with like the free recipes and the meal plans and all the things um, and add on supplements um, to get faster results. Like that's what I'm sharing and I'm helping a lot of people with it and I feel really, really good about it. Um, shoot. I had one more thing I was going to say and I can't remember. Um, I love you guys and I am here to help you however I can. Message me, message me questions. What I was going to say is if you did take some time off and you're ready to kickstart things back, right now is the time to get started because when they announce the Punta Cana trip that you just in your head said I'm going on, when they announce it, you've already started everything. You already know what you have to do to get there. You've already got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that you get to follow up with to then get their order in that's going to go towards your Punta Cana trip. So I need for you to get hustling and rocking on <coughs> this so that when the Punta Cana trip comes up, you don't have a calendar that looks like this. You have a calendar that is completely full of people that you now get to follow up and message. Okay. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I hope that you have an incredible day, an incredible week. Message me if you have any questions. All right, you guys, talk to you later.